Hello and welcome to Scientific Lead 2. Today we're going to be talking about how magnets attach to each other, how they uh, impulse and expulse other magnetic fields. Now, some people on YouTube say that two objects, two magnets, accelerate towards each other to a null point in counter space. They don't explain how it happens, they just say it accelerates to a null point in counter space. Um, I don't think that's much of a description. So I'm going to explain to you that there is physical fields on a magnet. Now what I'm going to show you is the difference in fields and what they do to the fields when you put them together north and north or north and south. So the first one I'm going to do is the north and the south. I'm hoping my fingers aren't going to get in the way. So this This is, uh, I think my bloody hands are in the way. <laughs> Let's see if this will work. Okay, so this is to uh, north and south. Now as they come together you can see that black line. Now what happens is at the edge here where they meet there and there that is where they are rolling together and they're going to roll down into the center because they are coiling up. Because all magnetic fields are like Fibonacci fingers or Fibonacci arms. And so when they coil up two vortices must go somewhere. Now you can see I'm pushing this right right in there without actually uh, letting them join but this black line is the vortex and what it's going to do is it's going to spin around the magnet this way and the other side is going to spin around the magnet that way so it creates a circle I mean as you can see there isn't one there we just have the field so now because they coil into one another they're not accelerating by magic they actually coil into one another all the way down to zero. Now I'm just going to pull this off the magnet thing here and it forms a ring around it because that's those two fields pulling together and they have to go somewhere because they call down into the middle but you get two more and they come out and then they spin around the magnet. I mean I can slightly change the field here by twisting them letting bits in and out so you can see more but that field is because the black piece is the vortices coiling together then they squash right down and have to come out the sides because it's a north and south field fields do not reciprocate some people seem to tell me they don't know what that means it means that the north field does not go from here all the way around to the south and the south does not go from all the way here round to the north which is what everyone's been taught the north comes out and meets at the inertia line right here and they coil up there and that's why we have storms around the equator because that's the two fields mixing and creating that which of course is the equatorial inertia line of two magnetic fields meeting they have to come out, normally they, would, they can come out like that straight but because of the size of this magnet they've come right down but this is all has to come out this way to bridge the gap between there and there so there's straight lines sticking out, you just can't see them but that's the field of two meshed together they have to push out the sides because they have nowhere else to go they cannot come around because they're coiled up and we see them coiled up right there coming in. Now, now I'm going to show you the opposite field. So what happens with this is the edges curl around and come in as you can just see on the top of the bit there. That's where they meet. So these actually open up. If we turn it the other way, see them come in. Oh, let me just stick this on the pig again. So now we have is it two opposites? 
Oh, no. Spun around. So now, it's going to come together. You see that? So this is like two fists pushing against each other. Now I showed this on another video, I'll be uh, putting that up in a second um, and explaining how it's working. But See how it opens up and it closes in. The other way around doesn't do that, they all open up and meet at the edges. Here they close right up as soon as they touch each other because that's how magnetic fields work. If you put your two hands together like this now the electrical connection, as soon as this touches, they'll do this. So I have two opposing fields. I would have to turn this this way to be an actual north and south field. And when they touch, they coil into each other. Electricity this way, electricity this way. But if they're the same field, as soon as they touch, they try and coil and they do that. Like fists, as soon as you touch, because this is an electrical connection, so as soon as they meet, that happens. But, if you have it the other way, as soon as they meet, they roll into one another. Like that. And coil up. And then something has to go that way. And something has to go that way. So that is how the fields work. So if you have two the same, they push against each other like fists. I've only got the one, two circles here, but there's one on either side, which is what that black line is in the middle. So you've got two sides of a field meeting, meeting two sides of the field, and they close up like fists as soon as they touch. But, these fields, oop, wrong way around. Dropping uh, stuff there, we go. Oop, no, that way. But these fields, the, the field is out that way and out that way, coil here, coil here, and as soon as they touch, they coil inwards. Boom. And they coil in and then around the magnet. So thanks very much. That's how magnets work. Magnets don't accelerate towards each other, towards a null point in space. Because I've actually got the physical field here crushing down and going outwards. So to sit there and say that magnets accelerate without any kind of force or explanation as why it's accelerating towards a null point in counter space. Now, this is like two springs coiling up. Boom. And then there's the field on the outside. Again, proving it's a physical thing with a physical field that has shape and construction. Everything comes in, everything goes out, then in. Thanks very much. My name is Lee, I follow the Christ, and I'm showing you all the things he showed me. Thanks a lot. Bye.